Hey there, oh my goodness gracious, Kelly here. I am super excited about all the amazing changes that is gonna be taking place here, going from Kelly Frick Connect to Coach Kelly, lots of amazing things that you guys are going to see and learn and um, hear, 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 hear. <laughs> Do you love that? <laughs> but I wanted to first, I, I wanted to just, it's been a while since I've hopped on, right? And I wanted to hop on and talk about everything that's been going on, all right? We're about to enter into the last third, right? Last four months of 2020. And I don't think it's been anything like any of us anticipated it would be, right? Or even dreamed that it would be like. I mean, I'm gonna be super real and super raw. I sent out an email um, last week to my list and it was super real, super raw. If you wanna be able to be on that email list, um, it's you know me blogging, journaling to y'all. Um, lots of really great things that I share there also, but I was super real and raw and how much I've been loving the challenge, challenge of joining collaborations with Christina Sessoms of Purely Simple Organic Living and also the full impact of what has been going on in this world, right? Um, so, hey, Christina, yes, I know, lots of great changes. I'm excited to share. Um, but I think we would all, I want us to really address the last six months, all right? We would be super naive to think that even those of us who are the most positive, right? I love and I relish on being positive and being on the bright side of things, right? Well. There's only so much we can do, right? And there's only so much that we can take when we have to be willing to be real with ourselves and address our emotions and to be okay with what we are feeling. And I've had my ebb and flows over the last six months. And let me tell you what, a lot of it came to serious crashing halts in the last couple of weeks of really getting real with addressing my emotions, of digging into using my tools of tapping and oils and grounding and all the amazing things that Christina and I share at Purely Simple Organic Living. All right, so what we need to remember is that the world shifted in spring and we are about to enter into the fall and things haven't gotten much better, right? I mean, there has been some really great things, but there's things that we still, we need to be willing to address and to look at. So how does a person do more? How do you, as a woman, as a dynamic woman, how do you do more than survive in all that is going around, that you're able to thrive, not focusing on feeling great sadness for situations around you, with your family, with your friends, with the world, right? So here are some of the things that I've been doing for the last six months that have really helped me and supported me. That in addition to my tapping and grounding and MRT and just all of those amazing things, right? Is first and foremost, my number one thing is I have increased my prayer life substantially. I don't take it for granted anymore. I lean into it knowing that God is right there beside me, all right? The second thing I've been doing is I've been taking, making sure that I spend as much time outside each day. I've been outside probably more in the last six months than I have in six years. Okay, maybe not really, but you know, it feels like it. I'm outside a lot. I don't miss my vitamins. I make sure that I take my vitamins, especially my vitamin D. I'm keeping my immune system boosted with all that, but I'm also keeping my mood leveled and up and vibrating, right? I am not stingy on my citrus oils. All right? I have lots of different citrus blends that I really, really love. And let me tell you what, I'm like breathing in an orange factory a lot of times. My family will ask me, did you just eat an orange? Oh yeah, no. Did you just eat a grapefruit? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I am not afraid to use my citrus oils to again, raise my vibration because it's all about our frequency. It's all about our vibration, raising that, keeping it lifted, right? Um, now, real quick side note, um, orange oils are photosynthesis, photosensitive, so you don't wanna be outside, you know, if you just use them or anything, but actually grab a real live living orange, all right? An orange that is 
from a tree, from the grocery store, it's amazing. It's going to boost, you. you're gonna get vitamin C, right? It's gonna boost your immune system and you're gonna get the vibration from that orange. Also, you're gonna get the living vibration. That's amazing. So I also give myself grace each and every day. All right, when things shifted in spring with the world and my business, I found myself not being able to do as many Facebook Lives because, well, honestly, I was trying to like figure out things, right? And I had a husband and a daughter at home all of the time now. And trying to figure out when I was gonna hop on in the midst of everything else that, hello, I <laughs> wasn't quite sure what I was doing, right? So. I, I wasn't getting my blog writing out as often either. My postings were becoming scattered and even sharing here with you became hit and miss. I found myself having to juggle so much more than usual. And I could have, I could have beat myself up, but instead I gave myself the grace to know that this is a season. You too need to give yourself grace and know that it's a season that there are always growing pains within a season. And you can see it as a uh, or you can see it as a oh, this is a fun challenge. I can overcome this, I can do this. I also, I mourned the loss of having to put my in-house classes on hold, all right? I gave myself permission to have a full out emotional release about everything I was feeling a loss about. Now, quick side note, in-house classes are coming back, all right? As a matter of fact, the first one is next week. If you want to hear more about that, I'll definitely be sharing more, um, but super excited about that. Christine and I have some amazing things in store for you guys. And finally, I've been learning to truly find peace and joy in a totally new way, all right? With the super simple things, with family, friends, business, so many different things, right? So I pray that my openness and my vulnerability here today will help you know that you are not alone on this journey, this journey of life, of whole health, right? Whole health. We're talking mind, body, soul, spirit, right? We are the entirety of all of that, right? So there's so much in store for us for this September. Um, I am looking forward to reviving my interaction here with you guys. I'm looking forward to sharing with you all that I have in store for you and here at for the rest of 2020, as well as all that Christine and I are doing at Purely Simple Organic Living and in the Holistic Tools. If you're not in the Holistic Tools group, oh my goodness, you seriously need to be in there. Like crazy energy goes on in there. Christina brings all kinds of amazing things there for us. So as always, do not hesitate to reach out, comment below, share with me your heart because I'm here to share my heart with you and I look forward to serving you and supporting you throughout the rest of this year as well as into next year. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day.